Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you are all doing well. So still stuck at home and I got a new lens the other day that I've been testing uh, while it was on loan. It's on loan from Lumix. Uh, I've got to send it back unfortunately tomorrow but I thought I would give you a bit of an insight to it and uh, show you guys what I've been doing with it over the last couple of weeks because I think it's going to be a bit of a game changer in my bag when it comes to traveling. So the weather over the last couple of weeks has just been awful. I haven't been out very much at all. I feel very unmotivated uh, with regards to photography and just everything at the moment because the weather has just been awful it's just been raining horrible winds and it's just been just not good it's like proper winter uh, I'd rather it be cold and icy and snowy but it's just in the middle where it's just raining all the time and it's just not been very nice and I've only actually been out maybe two or three times in about the last three or four weeks it's just been it's just been awful really but Lumix did send me out this lens to try out um, for a couple of weeks uh, that they just released and uh, I think it could be a game changer actually when it comes to traveling around um, and it is the brand new 70 to 300 millimeter f4.5 to 5.6 and i know what you're thinking they've probably got 70 to 200 f4 and a 2.8 why don't they make like a 100 to 400 but i think where this lens is going to really really shine through is where it's budgeted so this lens uh retails at about 1250 pounds i think it's 1259 and straight away for a lens like this i thought that was super cheap Obviously, I'm a Lumix ambassador, and I get to try this stuff out before it goes on the market, and it's really, really good. Fortunately, I've got to send this one back tomorrow, so I thought I would show you guys a bit about it now. But look how small it is. This is a, this is a 300 millimeter lens, so it goes all the way out to 300 millimeters. And on a sensor like my Lumix S1R at 47 megapixels, that's okay because most of the time I, I shoot with the the 200 mil, so the 70 to 200 millimeter, and I've cropped and I've I've been getting some wonderful images over the last year or so uh, and when they came out with this lens I thought this could be really really good when it comes to travel so it's it's dead light it literally weighs nothing my 70 to 200 is probably I, I, yeah I'd say twice as heavy I'd say this lens is twice as heavy it's also maybe a quarter the size bigger as well the 200 70 to 200 bear in mind this lens is 1700 pounds this lens is like 1200 pounds so it's a little bit cheaper um, but this is a pro lens. This is more budget friendly lens and there's a few things I like about this um, Obviously, this is my my baby it comes with me absolutely everywhere. It's an amazing piece of glass There's a few things I like about this lens and a few things I don't like about this lens So the biggest thing I like about it is the size. It's tiny. It takes up no space It's, it's pretty much the same size as that lens, which is the the 24 to 70 albeit it's probably a little bit bigger um, but for a 300 millimeter lens weighing less than a kilo it literally weighs nothing um, this could be an absolute game changer when it comes to traveling. I think when I go away to say Scotland or wherever, I think I'd only take these two lenses. This is the 16 to 35 Pro lens, F4. Uh, again, this weighs nothing. It's literally like, it's just like a featherweight, it's tiny. And this, and this will give me a 16 to 35 and a 70 to 300 millimeter. And I think, I could live with that for a whole week in Scotland. I could live with that for a whole week in Iceland. I don't think I'd need anything else. Uh, if I'm going to do landscape photography, I can just take two little lenses and it's just job done. So I think they hit the nail on the head when it comes to this sort of focal range uh, with regards to travel photography. Uh, the biggest thing I don't like about this lens is it doesn't have a lens collar uh, and being a bit cheaper than, than this lens which is all internal zoomed so when you zoom into 200 millimeters, it's all internally and it's on a lens collar as well so that it can be really really steady the 70 to 300 millimeter lens uh, extends externally so it actually comes out the barrel comes out of the lens and it doesn't have a lens collar that's the only thing I think that draws this lens Back, is it not having a lens collar because when you're out at 300 millimeters that's that's quite a that's quite a big lens when it's out at 300 millimeters and if it's just solely relying on your arc of swiss mount on your tripod out the end there it's, it's going to be moving around if you're in any 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 sort of wind uh, it does have stabilization obviously and the lumix stabilization is fantastic and i have tested this and i was out the other day in a rainy wet horrible woodland and it was blowing a hooli and it was fine to be fair, it was okay. But I think just kind of peace of mind with all this glass being out there and it being heavy and it all being pulled down on the actual mount of the camera, I'm sure it's fine, but I'm just a little bit worried about that sort of thing. But that's the only thing I think that draws this lens back. But 
I think I'd get over it because the size of it is just tiny. Uh, the optics are stunning. I've only taken a couple of shots with it and this one is my favorite. I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys. You might have seen it on my social media already, but I took this image the other week up at that foggy wet woodland and it was just lovely. This lens is so sharp. It's surprisingly sharp. I'd say it's just as sharp as my 70 to 200 Pro lens. The glass in my Lumix lenses are just stunning. I've never had any quibbles with any of the glass in any of my Lumix lenses. They've all been absolutely beautiful to work with and the images and the quality and the color rendition that comes through from this glass is just stunning. And this lens is, is just like the others. It just works perfectly with all the lineup of lenses uh, that Lumix offer. And I think it's actually quite a unique focal range. I think it could be really good for that travel sort of style work. I would have it in my bag tomorrow. I think it's absolutely perfect. It would help me save maybe two or three kilos when it goes to traveling. And when I start traveling again, this will be the lens that I take, I think, because it will give me an extra 100 millimeters and especially if you're in amazing places like Scotland or the lakes or anywhere like that, that extra 100 millimeters right at the top end will be really nice. It'd be really, really helpful. Um, and just the size and the weight and everything about it is just, is just perfect. So those two lenses, the 16 to 35, there you go. Look at the size. It's just crazy how that's a 300 millimeter lens. It's just a tiny bit. It's like an inch or two bigger than the 16 to 35. It's just stunning. So this lens unfortunately does have to go back tomorrow. I'm gonna miss it, I really, really am. But there's a little look into this new lens from Lumix and um, yeah, exciting stuff because they are adding some really, really good lenses to the lineup now and I'm really excited to be trying them out and uh, seeing what I like. And this one will definitely be adding to my kit in the next couple of months because for those travel situations, this is the one. It could be, it could be really, really good. So I am looking forward to to get in this one in a couple of months time. So just a quick video from me today about this new lens that Lumix uh, released a couple of weeks ago and yeah, I do want it in my bag. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do consider clicking subscribe below. Give us a like, tell us what you think down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.